What's up, fellas? Ladies? See? Ain't nothing changed about me. I'm still the same person. Same person. I think with y'all men, though, what y'all, like, totally forgot, I told y'all I had a life for your bullshit. I told y'all motherfuckers that, right? And, um, I was more in what they would say my masculine energy. You know what I'm saying? There ain't nothing wrong with that. But at the time, my people thought it was, you know. Because I was just so pretty. Right? And being pretty is fine. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But the the logic behind other people, when um they look at a person with some kind of beauty, right? And some kind of intelligence, and then some kind of mind of their own to say no. Or even just, you know, go about your life to figure your life out. Um, Basically, though, what I'm trying to say is... Oof, trying to watch my mouth. But y'all put me in the trenches, systemized, organized, you know, trenches. You know what I'm saying? And really... I just thought that's how I was supposed to be. I ain't even know a lot of the shit y'all was doing was like setups and all that shit and just and I was just living my life. I, you know, if it was fucked up, I still lived it. And um, one thing I can really say that I really want everybody that ever listens to this know. My life has been orchestrated. You know, by people in my past from other lifetimes. So they use a lot of spell work tactics of all kinds, okay? But the crazy part is this I lived my life authentically since birth. The entire time that all this fuck shit was going on, all of the blissful fun times it was going on, all of the, you know, anything. I was still myself. And people had the idea, and I don't know who gave them this idea, right? But they had the idea of, well, let's, uh, let's just, uh, we're going to take her energy from her, right? And then we're going to use that against her. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, you know that shit don't work. You know what I'm saying? It don't work at all. I just had somebody pull up like close to my crib trying to do the little witchy poo stuff. You know what I'm saying? But because I was my authentic self my entire existence and I didn't intentionally wreak no havoc on nobody a lot of shit was provoked by other people and you don't understand why I'm winning and then on top of that everything that had me down for the count in the hospital um at home you know in the house y'all think what you thought I was sitting there doing playing because you play every day that's what you thought I was doing but I un- I understand how to play and how to work I have always had focus and discipline and um, I've always worked for myself in some shape form or fashion you know that's what I don't like about men sometimes they look at your physique and they just automatically want to size you up you know it's something about keeping you at a certain standard definitely lower than where we would love to be at right because if they if they put us on our pedestal or we put ourselves on that pedestal then guess what they gotta honor what the fuck we say on that goddamn pedestal and they don't want to do that 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do. Whether you like it or not, you do. Fun fact. I told all y'all fuckers, whether I dated you or we hung out, you know what I'm saying? We went places or we ain't go no fucking where. Oh, I got a brain. I got a mind. And that bitch is powerful. And I know how to use her. You know what I'm saying? And I taught a lot of y'all stuff. I told y'all a lot of shit. You know, you ain't no one give me credit for none of this shit, but I'm going I'm to run that money back. I'm going to get that. Okay. I still got evidence all in my house. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no need of me throwing away nothing because if an idea is mine, it's mine. You know, I didn't tell you to go out and do the shit you was doing. You had the bright idea to go ahead and do it. And you also had the bright idea to say, hey, if we get her in these these weird, crazy situations, she ain't gonna just keep thriving. I want y'all men to tell the world the truth. Every time if you get yourself in some shit or some shit was going down, happening, whatever, every motherfucker call me. Everybody. You know what I'm saying? I walked every walk. And I talked that talk. But I was about that action. So I don't like the fact that you try to paint me as something different than what I am or you try to lie on my name or you try to make me seem like a weak docile person I'm not I'm not because I don't say anything that doesn't mean that that's what's going on because I don't what go out to the same places anymore it's not that I can't go out there it's not that I don't want to go out there it's just the point of if nobody's growing and elevating, why? Why do it? You know what I'm saying? Trust me, I love the party and bullshit. Still get my drink on a little bit. And, um, you know, smoke me a little green. But guess what? If you look up who I am, that goddess did all the same shit. So that's where y'all fucked up at. You also fucked up by getting me in all these goddamn coats and shit too. And think y'all was going to offer my black ass up. And the other reason that you really fucked up is the thing of if you taking my energy and y'all been doing this shit for years and I don't care if I dated you at 16. I'm 40 fucking four. And then you're going to try to use my energy against me. It's a no brainer. I'm stronger than all of y'all. You have used me. And tried to use me against me. You know that shit don't work. You just don't. You know, so... I don't know what y'all think was going to happen. I don't know why y'all thought that God wasn't going to, you know, let us sister know something, okay? Plus, on top of it, too, I didn't know people play these types of games with other people's lives. And then try to make sure that they wouldn't know or find out. And you just try to kill a motherfucker on the sly. You know what I'm saying? Or or y'all try to set up shit to, to duke a motherfucker on the strength of niggerdom, right? I got your nigga for you. I'm a nigga and a bitch in one. And God said... Talk that shit. Fuck these niggas. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand you. They don't understand me. Because I don't want no pussy ass, punk ass, fuck ass niggas on my team. And if I got to, if I got to, you know, recruit some bitches that got more strength and heart than y'all niggas, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm telling you how God rock. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing to be slick about, sly about, shisty about. You know what I'm saying? Stand on any and everything that you got with yourself. I did. I took every fucking thing. All y'all niggas that's here, you know it. Family, you know it. 
You know what I'm saying? And everybody's surprised, like, she is still here. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. You thought Satan was uh, bigger than God. How? When God produced Satan. Who's the big devil, niggas? Who? I don't give a fuck if you like what I'm saying or how I'm saying it. All I got to do is connect you with more than the damn Bible to get your brain fucking twirling there. Okay? Because all God is saying is this. What the fuck is you doing going to my daughter and trying to talk to her about shit and doing shit to her? Knowing you're supposed to come the fuck to me. So you scared as fuck as of me because you know I'm going to wax your ass, right? But you think my daughter won't wax your ass too? She will. She going to do it with this right here. Y'all niggas, it's obvious when you get the box or something, y'all start twitching and geeking and shit. You know what I'm saying? So a sister pull back from bullshit like that. Then the other thing is, y'all motherfuckers trying to want to hit me up and get me pregnant and shit. Nope. No. God said no. No. I'm going to get what I want. And that ain't what I want. And I said, shit, I don't want to leave. I, don't, I can leave it. It's fine. It's fine. Niggas just doing reckless, crazy ass shit anyway. So, what I'm really trying to let everybody know is the real God of this world. Yes. Yes. Was this color. Okay? But you think that they created all this shit Behind the scenes, being passive, you know what I'm saying? Running and telling on somebody, nah, you needed this. You needed your whole being to produce something out here. And they produced it from the strength, you know what I'm saying? So you thought they played games when they made this planet? No. If that's the case, they would, made, they would play games with you, and they don't. And so since you decided to play games with him, he said, let me wake her up. Let me wake her up. She think these people love her. Oh, they don't. I'm going to show her who really love her. So let me tell you what he did. He said, now you got a choice. You can, you can 